Hello everybody. So as we have uh, seen in our last session the, about the concept of printer, now we will be seeing how to configure the output device and how to create uh, printers. So before I proceed with that, first we need to understand what is a device, a definition of device. Um, if you see this picture, in this figure, if you can see a dispatcher, uh, two spool work processor are assigned and one dialog work processes. To be able to address the users front-end printers from the SAP system. Okay, so the corresponding device definition must contain the uh, following parameters. So what are those things? like? First, as it, when, whenever you define an output device in an SAP system, you must first specify the type of correction with which the output device is to be addressed. Like there might be a several printers, HP printer or Epson printer or several other different printers, right? So you need to specify like which type of connection will suitable for that output device. So this type of connection you call access method so let me go to the SAP system so configuring the printer is so as I said SPAD is what we usually configure the printers so once you enter SPAD, you will be seeing this screen, initial screen for SPOOL administration. So here, to configure the device, first you need to select the configuration and then you need to select on output devices. So once you click on output devices, you can see one device by name LP01. So now if you want to create an output device, what you have to do, you have to first make it in a change mode. So once you click in change mode, this will become enable before it was disabled because it was in display mode. So once you click on create, now it's asking what kind of output device you want to define here. Right? So this is very very important here before configuring output device you should know what printer you are trying to configure so let us see any output device is there or not so to check we will press F1 for help So if I say let's say uh, Epson okay and here the device type there are a lot of device types here if you see there are a lot of device types so I'm taking one of the HP laser okay I'm showing just an example we are not having any printer connected to uh, this PC but just for you to know that how are you going to configure in the uh, real environment that is very very important and then spool server is nothing but your instance name okay select the instance number and the device class is nothing but um, standard printer or is it for is it you are using for fax or what so uh, I'm selecting standard printer now okay depending on the situation like what the user needs uh, wants you to configure according to his now model number as I said like if you know the printer model number then you have to define okay and then if it's not having uh, it will automatically assign to the device type now once you have assigned the output device then you need to click on save he is telling specify a host printer name because as I said like we uh, do not have any printer connected to PC so otherwise it would have identified that that printer has the host name so once it has the host name it will connect to the printer 
then in the it will automatically come to the second tab which is a access method now as i've just explained about the access method like when whenever anybody whenever you define an output device in an sap system you specify the type of connection with which the output device is to be addressed so this connection type is called access method okay and it is defined using a single letter like here you can see it is single letter l l means what it's print locally using lp lpr they, they use some drivers okay so there are various types of host spool access method like you can see uh, g which is used for front end printing with control technique uh, i is for archiving device uh, m is for email to receiver owner uh, p device spool uh, s is for print using sap protocol and u print using berkeley protocol so these are the drivers which used for a particular printer so you if can select the local printer okay then host printer so if you have if you know the printer ip address then you need to define that printer ip address here okay and then once you have defined here then you need to select you need to save okay anyhow it doesn't have any host uh, name for the printer we am going to the next tab output attributes in this output attributes uh, here as you know uh, normally we are uh, if you are talking about the uh, printer which we are having in the home pcs like you know how to set the printer like how do you want the printer to be uh, which tray like if the printer has two three trays you need to know which tray uh, what time of uh, what kind of your paper you are setting up and which so these kind of settings you need to make it here okay do you want a color printer or do you want a black and white printer so this is output attributes which you need to set for that okay so once you have defined this you need to save so once you click on save and if you come back okay do you want to save first yes so like this your printer get configured so if you see if you want to see how many output devices has been defined you have to go to span enter and beside the output device you can see this uh, drop down button click on that and don't put anything just hit enter so once you hit enter it's showing only one device so there is only one device uh, inside the print uh, inside the sap so likewise you can this is predefined uh, device provided by sap okay during the installation but you can configure the output devices if your printer are connected to the sap so this is how you basically configure the printer in your pc in your sap system and you uh, everybody know how to um, configure the printer on the local machine so if you don't know like i will show you how to configure like like if you go to start and if you go to printer and faxes okay and here you will add the printer like i'm talking about a local machine not on the sap system so if you add the printer once you click on add it's saying welcome to the r printer wizard click on next now it's asking whether it's a local printer or it is a network printer so as i said like you need to know whether it is a local printer or network printer so here this is very very important sometimes while configuring you will, if you select local printer then it will be internally it will work if you are trying to uh, print remotely then it will not configure properly or you might get issues so if you have network printer then you need to assign the ip address if it's local printer you need to select local and say next so automatically what it will do it will detect if there is a printer attached to your computer so if there is no uh, printer attached then it will say the wizard was unable to detect any plug and play printers so this is how you configure the local uh, printer on your local machine so if you press next um, if you want to take use the following port next okay and 
this is a very simple procedure and you can select uh, select any manufacturer company like say HP and take the series and say next do you want this printer the default printer say yes so whenever you give the print it will automatically go to this printer okay next okay so here it's asking which location so you can provide the location like if I say it Chicago okay and say next you want to print a test page if there is no printer uh, you can say no as of now click on next and finish once you click on finish your printer will get configured HP 2500C so this is how you configure the printer first on your local machine then only you can go to SAP and then you can assign this printer HP 2500C into your SAP as I showed like going to SPAD and uh, defining the output device like HP 2500C series okay so this is how you configure the printer uh, and So hope you understood this uh, session. Thank you so much.